Town Pizza Parlor is the new name in pizza in the Old Town area. And owner Michael Tafoya dishes up pizza and pasta in his family's cozy 150-year-old adobe hacienda and joins us today in our Builder Source kitchen. Hi there. Hi, Nikki. Nice to be here. Oh, it's great to have you. Last time I was on the patio of your beautiful restaurant. You were. It was awesome. It was awesome. And I have to tell our viewers that the name Old Town Pizza Parlor is really special. So can you tell them why you chose it? Well, Old Town Pizza Parlor, we chose it because my grandma and grandfather was actually, they had their first original restaurant there. Old Town Chili Parlor back in the 40s, in the ah. in the late 40s, and they were there for 25 years. Oh, so and, you're carrying on tradition. And now I had the opportunity to open up about five years ago, and we thought no other better name would be than to, since we're doing pasta and pizza, though, exactly. we had to change the name up a little bit, but we wanted to keep with the same theme. It's perfect. It's certainly perfect, and obviously you've been doing a great job for the last five years and many more to come. So I want to talk a little bit about the menu, because the thing is, it's pretty extensive. Like you said, I mean, it's called pizza, but there's so much more. Yeah, there's so much more. We do a lot, lot more than just pizza. Mm -hmm. We have great salads. Yeah. Um, there's really, we just put a spinach salad on the menu Ooh. with uh, cranberries and toasted almonds. And local feta cheese. Mm. Um, we have uh, sub sandwiches. Nice. Homemade meatballs. You know the we, we just put on a nice uh, Italian beef sub with uh, spicy jardiner. Um, <gasps> So that's it's that's a really me. that's a really awesome sandwich. Um, <laughs> and your appetizers are great too. Appetizers, we have a new crostini mm -hmm. that's really good, and that's what we cooked last time. I loved it, it had the artichokes, tomatoes, and balsamic so reduction. Um, we do a lot, lot more than just the pizza. Definitely, and a lot of people like to come in after work and maybe have a drink. You serve beer and wine, right? We have beer and wine, and yeah, we like I said, right now is the best time to come because yeah. we have the patio. We have live music. Yes. Um, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays on awesome. the patio. So on Saturdays, we kind of say it's some music under stars, and Aww. we have a good time. So, I love that. Yeah, we do a lot of different stuff, and a lot of people don't know about the patio because it's hidden in the back, and exactly. um, it's kind of quaint, and it's surrounded. So it's a garden patio, so it's so beautiful. It's so nice it, to be out there. It's so beautiful, and such a great atmosphere, and obviously the food is fantastic. And you do make great pizza on top of all the other great dishes we just mentioned. In fact, you're going to be making one of your pasta dishes, I understand, today, right? Because that's another specialty. I am. Um, this is probably one of our top sellers. It's our, our, our version of mac and cheese. Okay. It's kind of an Italian um, variety, so nice. um, we start our, um, right here we have a basically an Alfredo sauce which we made even house. We make all our sauces in house. Good to know. Um, so it's basically a bechamel sauce, and we add uh, lots and lots of Parmesan cheese. Yes. And then a little bit of cream. Okay. Um, the way we have in the restaurant, the way we do it too, the restaurant is we use fusilli pasta. That's which, my favorite. Which is a corkscrew. I always joke. I always say that's what my hair looks like when I come out of the shower. It's like fusilli. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's a really Curly good pasta. Hair. It's stick, it clings to all the you know uh, all the sauce and it uh -huh. really makes a good pasta. Chewy. If you if you do it at your house though, you can definitely use a you know macaroni or any really other type of pasta. But we like the fusilli. I like the fusilli too. Um, we add um, nice mozzarella cheese to our mm. sauce to give it kind of the stringiness that's to my it. Fave. And then um, we add more Parmesan cheese. Now most people, you know, we, we all know that I don't like Parmesan, but almost everybody in the world loves Parmesan it, cheese. So that's <laughs> that's music to their ears. We, we add bacon Do to I ours. Do I see bacon? That is, it is bacon. It's awesome. Oh that's what my makes gosh. It bacon really, makes it better. Really, really good. It does make it good. <laughs> and then at the restaurant, we usually serve it just kind of like this, but you have the option to add green chili. And we're going to add green chili today good. just to make it a more of a New Mexican flair kind of thing. I love that. You're taking a little a little fusion of Italian and exactly. New Mexican. Exactly. We have to. You know, we, we're, we're in old town. And, Okay. And that's how my uh, grandparents would do it. Exactly. So, so you can see now it's nice and stringy. Nice. And oh, then perfect. we're gonna go ahead and add our pasta. Mm -hmm. Make it see the best. The best thing about mac and cheese, obviously, is when you get like that stringy. Yeah, consistency, and that's right? see that's what kind of you get when you. When, uh, when you add that mozzarella cheese to it. Now, while you're doing this, I have to just mention that you do catering services. If people can't come in or they're having a party, but they love your food so much they want it, what do they need to do? They just need to give us a call. Our okay. number is 505-999-1949. Okay. Or they can reach us on the internet at www.oldtownpizzaparlor.com. Fantastic. And, of course, all the details are on your screen right now as to where you can find Old Town Pizza Parlor. And, I, again, I want to recommend that when they come in, the restaurant is fabulous on the inside, but this time of year, it is really a treat to go out to the patio. It, it Not is. to mention the live music makes it even that much better. It is. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's very unique for our area, and yeah. you know, it's a. It's pretty neat, uh, neat little thing to come out and hang out in the patio and have some mac and cheese. No doubt. So when people want to order this on the menu, it's just simply mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. You can add green chili. Okay. Um, if you want to, we made it with green chili, but uh, Let's that's how we uh, kind of finish it up. We put final. a little bit of uh, Italian parsley on top. Perfection. And you could put some breadcrumbs if you wanted to. Oh yeah, the breadcrumbs my favorite part. Yeah. I love it. 
Well, you know, I might even venture into the Parmesan just because it looks that good. I think I might do it. I have to take a little. Just at least a, a little, little just, a, just a little bit. Okay, I Get will. Get a piece of I'll bacon. The bacon is fantastic always on anything. Good. So let's You're do it good. together. All right. And I'll say cheers to you and happy post Fourth of July. It's been a pleasure to have you. And don't go away, everybody, because coming up next, our pet of the week. Let's go for it. Today's chef appearance is sponsored in part by Ben E. Keith Food Service Distributors.